So sometimes in working with RVs is you have to deal with people who are obviously inept at putting things together and they don't think about the future people taking it apart and having to work on it. So today is that case. As you can see what I'm doing here is I, I'm trying to get to the motor to replace the air filter. The air filter is literally backwards against the firewall and the only way you can get to it is access through the bed. Doesn't seem so hard, right? Except that somebody went in here and changed it from a queen size bed to a king size bed. And when they did that, they put a this big plywood board on here and then a rail along the edges, or this rail right here along the edges, an actuator right there, an actuator that brings the bed back and forward, and then put this board on a hinge right there. So in essence, the board comes up so that you can get into the compartment. It's taken me an hour to get this off, period. So there's the filter, it's turned in backwards. So we have to get that filter out and then okay. somehow make it to where it's a lot easier to get to in the future. So this is the bed in essence. What we had to do, this is the actual canister filter it was past its regular ability to be uh, to be clean. Um, we had to take this off, this off. There was a little trick. These were like sealed on there hard. So you have to move it forward and then turn it, pull those rubber boots off, and this whole canister has to be replaced. And uh, it's not cheap. So all that work to get the bed off and all that kind of stuff, that's what you got to do to get these stupid canisters off. Good luck. We got this filter out and it was bad. It was almost completely clogged and uh, called in town. We're in a little bitty town of Baker City, Oregon, and they just happen to have this filter. It's a canister filter, so you have to replace the entire can. And their cost on it was $200. Normally retail, they said to be about a $500 canister. Um, I'm not sure how many miles you can get out of it, but what I can tell you is this thing is crazy hard to get to.
<laughs> so we also, while we had this open, he also changed the uh, the air conditioner belt and the uh, serpentine belt. We did that. put all the bed back together again uh, came up with an idea uh, whoever had this had a queen it, it came with a queen size platform they extended it and it made it a king size platform and therefore put a rail all the way around it and every time we got out of bed it was breaking that rail so this young man came up with an idea to uh, screw it in a different way so that's what I got to do next with all the bed back together but if you want to know how to get an air filter on a 2004 Forest River Tsunami, that's what you got to do. You got to take the bed off. <laughs> <laughs> 